Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, with some very important information for anyone who uses an antenna. Some TV stations are switching from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4 video codec on their ATSC 1.0 broadcasts. While most TVs will be fine, older TV sets may lose certain channels. Why are TV stations once again messing around with things, and how do you know if the loss of a local TV station in your area is related to this change? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but don't only do that. Hit the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Otherwise, YouTube may not notify you when I have a new video and you may miss something important. If my videos helped you cut the cord with an antenna, you can show your support by clicking the thanks button in this video. This is a new feature YouTube just released. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Matt Peace of Northern Antenna for bringing this issue to my attention. If you live in the Minneapolis area, definitely consider hiring his company for an antenna installation. Matt is a passionate, hard worker and really knows antennas. Dare I say he knows some more things than me such as informing me about the change to MPEG-4 on some TV stations. So the current digital TV standard we use, ATSC 1.0, was developed back in the 1990s. At the time, MPEG-2 was the best video codec available. Today, MPEG-2 is not as efficient as other video codecs, including MPEG-4. So some TV stations are switching to MPEG-4 to fit more subchannels on their spectrum and improve picture quality. Most newer TV sets are fine to decode MPEG-4, but some older TV sets may show a blank screen. Here's a list of TV stations that are using MPEG-4 on their TV broadcasts. They include channels in Chicago, San Francisco, and some smaller markets you see here. More TV stations may switch to MPEG-4 in the future, so be sure to follow my link in the description of the video for an updated list. A big shout out to Trip of RabbitEars.info for generating this. If you have a local TV station on this list that can't be picked up on an older TV set in your house, and you have a good antenna set up, your old TV may be to blame. Thankfully, there's a very easy solution. You can connect an external digital converter box to your TV with an HDMI cable. Matt from Northern Antenna verified with me that they will decode MPEG-4 broadcasts. I include a link in the description to some models that will work. If your TV is ancient, like this one I have, you can also just upgrade it. Any new TV set should be fine to decode MPEG-4 video broadcasts. If you're upgrading your TV, should it have an ATSC 3.0 tuner? For most of you, I'd say no. We are still in the very, very early stages of the whole thing. There isn't much to gain right now with the new standard due to limited bandwidth unless you are in a heavily wood area. Click on my car in the corner to learn more or follow my link in the description of my video on this topic. To summarize this video, some TV stations are switching to MPEG-4 video codec to improve picture quality and fit in more subchannels. Most TV sets are fine to decode it, but older TV sets may have problems. If you notice a subchannel does not come in on an older TV set you own, you may need to upgrade your TV or order a digital converter box. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.